For this video, I will walk you through how you can make some simple animations for the micro bit using MakeCode. Start off at MakeCode.com. Once you get to MakeCode.com, you can click on micro bit here in the center. We're going to start a new project. So click on New Project on the left hand side. We'll give our project a name. I'm going to call it Animation. With younger students, you might call it something shorter. Then click on Create. To make my code here a little bit bigger, I'm going to click on the plus sign on the bottom right hand side of the screen. You can see here a number of drawers. Each, drawers, each drawer rather, contains a number of blocks that are associated with one another. We're going to start with the basic drawer. And actually, when you open a new project, there are two blocks that are already on the screen. So let's actually use the one from the basic drawer, which is called Forever Block. We're going to get rid of the On Start block. To get rid of the On Start block, you can drag it to the left to the trash can, or you can right click and select delete block. So we've got our forever block here now. This is like a forever loop. Anything you put inside of this will just continuously run when the micro bit is powered on. So let's insert some code to make a little animation. Under basic, select show icon. So basic show icon. And I'm going to leave it as the big heart. I'm going to grab one more show icon. So we go to basic show icon once again, and just drag that block and click it beneath the previous one. Change that to the small heart. You'll see in your simulator on the left hand side, the heart beating. So you can test this out with students without the actual physical micro bit. When it's time to download the code onto the micro bit, you can watch another video that's been provided for you. I'm just going to show you a couple of more ideas to create simple animations. These are great introductory activities to get students used to working with the code blocks and also to download the code onto the micro bit for their first time. So let's create a couple of different animations. You can do the same thing. Um, just actually keep your show icon blocks and in the pull down menu, perhaps you might change it to a happy face um, and then an, an kind of in between face. And I'm just going to right click and duplicate the block. So if you right click and duplicate, you can have another show icon block, saves you a step from having to go inside of the drawers. And then I'm going to change it to a sad face. So now I have a series of faces that appear and you can see the little animation. You can also, under basic, select the show string block. So under basic, show string, and I'm just going to get rid of this, these animated uh, icons here. I'm just going to drag them to the garbage can. So for show string, instead of hello, I'm going to write my name. Your students could do the same thing. And then when they run the code, you can see that Lisa scrolls across or their name will scroll across the micro bit. You can then have them make little cardboard holders and it can be a name tag for them so they can attach it to themselves. For attaching the micro bit to anything, duct tape works the best. And finally, uh, one more little animation that you might do is to draw onto the LEDs. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna get rid of the show string block, drag it over to the trash can, and I will go back to basic and grab a show LEDs block. Here's where you can select which LEDs will light up. So I'm going to do my initials. So there's L. I'm going to duplicate that block. So just right click on the block you want to duplicate, select duplicate. I'll make it a little smaller so that you can see all of my code at once. I'm going to change this one into an A. So I'm going to do my initials, L, A, F, there's my A, and I'll do one more. I'll just get a blank one here, and I'll do the F. So in my simulator, you will see the LAF be displayed just continuously. 
Students can draw little pictures on the LEDs as well. So for example, they could make a little plant grow. So just do one at a time. So I'll show you what that might look like. So you've got your first show LEDs block, then your second one, and then add a third one. You're really focusing on sequential code here. So one line of code after another. So let's see what that looks like. You can see it looks like something is growing. When it's time to download the code onto the physical microbit, you can watch the video for doing so.